Allison Vogt. I was born in New York, uh, upstate New York by the Adirondacks, but I moved here when I was three and I was raised in Rochester Hills. I love Africa because it is perceived as so hopeless. People really brush it off like, oh, Africa's just the worst place. Why would you want to go there? You can't do anything. It's just terrible. And that's like Detroit for me. That's why I'm here. I thrive on that kind of situation and I want to do something about it. For the diversity in our class, uh, people of different races and backgrounds, we will all have a different experience going to Ghana. I think specifically maybe people whose families did come from Africa, they can have a very different experience than me. They might feel ties to this area of the world more than I would, a bit of um, pride. At the beginning of the course, I don't think I could have defined democracy. I had never thought about it or spent much time thinking about it. Um, I know it's definitely something we take for granted in America, especially my generation. So my ideas about Africa in general being very primitive and non-Western were also intrinsically tied to my notions of what democracy in Africa would be like. It, I did not think it would be as sophisticated as it was here. As election observers, we got to see um, just how, how they vote and how they tabulate and it was very refined and not something that I expected from a developing democracy. And we went around just asking people, how long have you been waiting? And some of them said, since 10 p.m. the night before. And so we're talking 16 hours and they're still waiting. And they all say, my vote counts. I'm here because my vote counts, my voice counts. And that polling station was most interesting to me because it's such a controversial area. Um, they don't receive a lot of the government services associated with you know, their democratic rights as citizens, um, and yet they are there saying, my vote counts.